Okay, hello everyone, and it's welcome. It's for you, and uh, today I'm not going to do like a tutorial, but I'm guessing, and I have a lot of people asking, like how I do the AMVs for every week. So I figured some of you are interested, some of you maybe are not, but can maybe learn some stuff on how to make quick turnarounds on AMVs and stuff. So. I'm gonna show you like my how I structure it and how I do it that fast. So yeah. if we start out, um, you should have a f always have a folder with everything you need about the uh, project you're doing. For example, I have mine in just in documents videos, Sword Art Online AMV, and I structure it up. I have the After Effects, the Premiere Pro files, the project files. And I do separate folders. For example, right here, here's all the raw episodes from Sword Art Online. I have them all stacked up in here, so I can load them from same load them from the same folder. This folder is all the episodes done. For ex all from episode one to yeah episode 24. So I have all of them in one place. Easy to find. I have a folder over here for all the image works, for example, all the end card, all the end cards, they look fairly the same, but different text. And then I have a folder for all the thumbnails I make for all the videos. Yeah, so first of all, make a folder for all your stuff, if you're gonna make uh, a lot of AMVs like I do from week to week or I would I would recommend uh, just make a folder for an, a an anime series for example if you're gonna make a lot of Sword Art Online AMVs have it all stacked in one place and it would be a lot easier to find and load them to different projects and stuff uh, but well yeah that's my folder how I put it up I have the files and uh, images and stuff like that. But then I have to work with Premiere Pro to make it happen. So what I do in here I have folder structure as well inside Premiere Pro. Now this is this is just on one screen. I usually have two monitors. So I have the all the folders on the left side and stuff like that, but now I'm gonna do it like this just to show you. So yeah, basic folder, all the sequences, all the different episodes so every every episode right here is the one it's the episodes in the like the what do you call it like the editing in them uh and they're all the uh, author effects linked uh compositions that are in here all of this from different kind of episodes they show up here as well um and then I have a folder for the episodes, all the raw episodes where I all from 1 to like 24 and stuff like that. Where I got all the f get all the footage, a map with all the music that I'm using. Then another folder with some stuff, mostly the watermark and all the end screen cards. Uh, and the adjustment layers with the color correction. Yeah, I just put stuff in here that I use. And then for last, it's the already finished AMVs that I use for the end cards right here. So I just load them in once I, from week to week when I finished one, and then I load the next week. Yeah, you've all seen the end cards, so that's why I load them in as well. But, uh, yeah. It's fairly basic, just have some sort of organization on it and it will work a lot easier. Uh, and then I have like a structure in the uh, editing as well, like I always have the watermark and adjustment layer, you can see I have it on every one of them. It's almost same every time, I just make changes to the adjustment layer or the the watermark if I need to and then I also have the end card always the same I just 
I just load it up and I change it from episode to episode. So that's like the structure that I have always have those two things and the end card and I edit in between it. So for example if I let's say it's a new week I, w I would make a new sort of land episode for episode 25 that don't exist. This is what I make. I just duplicate the sequence from the week before. Change the name. Load it up. Hey, we got an episode 25. Oh no, it's episode 24 in here. Well, easy work. And it's all gone, and I have a new fresh slate. So, what do I do? I go in, I pick a song. Oh, yay, let's do this song. I uh, get the new episode, and I just import it in, like you do like you always do and then start editing and uh, what I usually do is it's fairly simple work really it just takes some just sit down a couple of hours and it's done I mean it's no advanced effects or anything like that some weeks I do like when I feel amb ambitious and stuff I do a, a little bit more and for example I did a lot more for the last episode since if it was the last episode I wanted to do something more about it uh, but yeah it's it's fairly simple all of it really I mean for episode 16 is a really popular one and I have like no work I did this is there's nothing in After Effects it's just Premiere Pro and simple effects uh, I've done a tutorial on basic effects in uh, Premiere Pro and that's like everything I use in this one uh, it's mainly just sync it to the music. I mean, if you, you can see here, all my percentages are different because I'm that picky with it syncing to the music. So it becomes. Yeah, perfect sync. For example, this right here is 95, and next one is. 130 just so it would match when Liz hits the yeah I'm I'm picky like that and that's what makes my AMV I guess uh, why people like my AMV is the good sync and synergy with the music I do and maybe because they like atmosphere of it all since yeah, this one is very popular as well. But yeah, so f for example, also I have done some editing right here. Let's just import some clip. Uh, yeah, let's just put it in here. Okay, let's say I'm done. Uh, it's not really done, but let's say I'm done. I just like pick all this S let's say I have a new I go into I need a new end card let's go into the end card episode 24 load up Photoshop okay uh, go to the top the song song name and uh, anime and the episode it was the imaginary 25 episode and then just save it as a new. And then a uh, JPEG file. Import it to Premiere Pro. Keep down Alt. And just drag it to the other one. And you will replace it. And with the same attributes and everything. Easy as that. And I just then change the previous e episode scale it to where I want to render and I render and I upload and while I upload I usually do the th thumbnail that's really simple I just screen cap the episode and then I like uh, yeah I screen cap the episode I like it. just paste it in cut it to where I want it I have two text layers. I usually change the 
the outer glow of it so it becomes like more unique to each and every episode or stuff like that I don't I don't usually do like Photoshop work there's just some random cases where I felt like it would be really cool to have on those for example but yeah then I just upload a thumbnail as well like so many of your other <laughs> so many of you already do as well for your own stuff so yeah uh, I guess this is it just have like a structure and everything uh, use as much use as much uh, already uh, finished stuff as you can like the watermark and stuff just use the different project and then work from that so for example the first episode I did there was a lot of work getting all the structure done with all the yeah I needed to make the end card and I needed to get the like flickering and I did to get the previous AMV and to the right spot with the right scale and stuff but once you get that done for the next time it's really simple you just replace the you just replace using all to every everything so yeah get us get some structure in your work guys and uh, I'll see you next time with the uh, much wanted uh, masking how I how I do it and how you do it in After Effects for example from the episode 24 but that's for next time so uh, I should probably have it up by after New Year so check out for that and uh, that's right Happy New Year's guys and I'll see you then so bye